Hello, I'm Adrian with Aztec Bolting Services. I want to demonstrate proper preventative maintenance on an Interpac S-Series hydraulic torque wrench today. The tools needed are a 2.5 millimeter hex key, molly lube, an acid brush, brake clean or other solvent you may have, and rags. First, remove the reaction arm from the tool by depressing the reaction arm retaining lever. Inspect the reaction arm for damage to the splines and retaining lever assembly. Inspect the splines on the housing for damage. Inspect the swivel manifold looking for damage or worn couplers or loose screws. Remove the shroud by removing the socket head cap screws with the 2.5 mm hex key. Remove the square drive by pressing the center button on the square drive retainer. Remove the ratchet from the ratchet lever, being careful not to lose the springs. Use a mild solvent to clean the components. Inspect the piston rod hook as well as the bearing surface of the piston rod for damage or heavy wear. Inspect the inner housing for heavy wear. Look for worn teeth on the ratchet and drive shoe. Inspect the ratchet lever and pin for cracks or heavy wear. Inspect the square drive, paying attention to the splines and for excessive deformation on the square drive. Apply lubricant to the piston rod hook and bearing surface. Apply lubricant to the inner housing and bushings. Apply lubricant to the recess where the drive shoe is installed and reassemble components in reverse order, making sure that the compression springs in the drive shoe are inserted properly. When installing the ratchet, care must be taken to make sure that the teeth are aligned properly to the drive shoe. Reinstall the ratchet lever assembly into the housing, making sure that the ratchet lever pin is engaged in the piston rod hook. Turn the square drive to ensure that the pin is engaged in the piston rod hook. Reinstall the guard. Reinstall the reaction arm, making sure that it is secure. That's pretty much it. Thank you for your time. For more information, please go to bolting.com.